Brian, it does feel like seven months, doesn't it? <laughs> little bit. From snowy weather to sub-zero temperatures and now sunshine today. For farmers, January snow was essential, but did the quick freeze really help or hurt? Julie Rodriguez spoke with a local farmer and he tells us how the past few weeks of winter weather will affect central Illinois farming. The normal growing season in Illinois is the average of 10 abnormal seasons. David Menold mainly farms corn and soybeans in Peoria and Stark County and says while the latest snow and freeze wasn't ideal, you have to be ready for everything. Through this snow, we had not had cold enough temperatures, even though it was sub-zero, the snow was insulating the ground. The month of January saw snow and sub-zero temperatures, but the Peoria County Farm Bureau explains the quick drop in temperatures following the snow did not give farmers the deep freeze they were looking for. We do like a good hard freeze during the winter. Um, if we could get the you know, soil frozen maybe six to eight inches deep, that would help eliminate a lot of the compaction that could have happened the previous fall. Those deep freezes help eliminate disease and pests that could ruin a crop and help livestock farmers prevent muddy animals. We'd like to see moderating cold so it gets cold slowly but surely. So if there's five, six inches of snow and you break through it with a vehicle, you'd like to see some firm ground underneath there rather than the mud that we have now. The manager of Peoria County's Farm Bureau adds, while the deep freeze was not the outcome farmers may have hoped for, it's nothing new. We can't control the weather. We just take it as it comes. Farmers make the adjustments. Uh, that's what their profession does. In Peoria, Jolie Rodriguez, 25 News.